Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick love reading. Hopefully it's quick, I don't know. Let's get into it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so we got past, present, future. All right. So in the past, when you were dealing with a particular person, you were looking for a sign because something was telling you, you had a, you had a feeling, a gut feeling that, you know, something was off. Uh, you were looking for a sign. Is this my person? Should I stay in this? Should I stay or should I go? What's going on? What's going on with them? You you were very much in your mind, very confused about their movement, their energy. You were looking for a sign, looking for a sign that either they were faithful or unfaithful. You were looking for something to give you confirmation of the information. And it looks like in the present, you got confirmation. Yes, they were a liar. Yes, they were cheating. Yes, they didn't take their relationship serious. Yes, 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 yes. You got confirmation that it is what it is. It was what it was. In the near future, it looks like some of you made some change here. Like, okay, I got confirmation and now I'm going to make some changes because in the near future, you have big, happy changes. Okay. So maybe you're leaving this old energy that kept you stuck, confused and in your mind, kept you wondering, kept you thinking, kept you wondering if they would ever do right, if they would change, if they would show up for you, if they would transform, you know, it, it, you put it behind you and there are now big, happy changes. Let's drill down on what this is. Also at the bottom of the deck, you have forgiveness. And maybe that's what you need to do for some of you about this person. You need to forgive because moving forward with a heavy heart, you always want your heart to be light as a feather so that you can manifest money, love, happiness, joy, all of that. Okay. It, it, moving forward with all this heaviness in your heart, all that unforgiveness, all of that. I still hate that. And, you know, and it, 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 you got all this smoke for them. It's not good for you. You say you want new love. That's the first thing that comes out of everybody's mouth. Oh, they cheating on me. Well, when am I going to get new love? Well, first of all, you need to close this door and this door is still open and you haven't forgiven the person. So you need to work on that. And forgiveness starts with you first. You got to forgive you for, you know, feeling like, oh, damn, I was stupid for believing them. I was stupid for staying. I was stupid for buying. I was stupid for, you know, you have to forgive yourself and then start working outward. All right. So get your homework forgiveness and uh, hopefully you can get all of this big happy changes let's where are we going here with this okay so let's clarify what was happening all right with your person let's see what was going on whomever you're coming to the reading for you know if it's your story it's your story if it's not leave no you can stay <laughs> maybe a piece of this will be your story i don't know um let's see look for a sign in the past you were looking for you were looking everywhere it's like i'm gonna catch this mf -er. i know they doing something i know they playing and they lying yeah four of pentacles you were trying to look for a sign because this person was holding on to so many different things they were possessive domineering like you know um they really didn't let you in on what was going on with them. Um, you couldn't really read them. They kept you locked out of a portion of their life or it seemed as if you were on the outside or the outskirts of their life. It was like they, wasn't, they weren't really bringing you in fully. So you were looking for a sign here. Also, some of you were looking for a sign. Should I stay or should I go? You know, this person, I can't be in this toxic, stuck relationship says, the four of pentacles it's because somebody is possessive so you were looking for a sign like is this person really for me or are they just trying to keep me because i add value because i am valuable um are they trying to treat me as a possession the seven of pentacles in reverse it likes you got again confirmation of the information that um this was going nowhere fast okay yeah with the seven of pentacles you you got confirmation that uh, you stop reevaluating and going over and over in your mind about what to do next or you stop the frustration. You stop pining over this person and you just want it again, confirmation. And you get that yes, that big old fat yes in the present that what you were thinking about this relationship was spot on. Your intuition was correct. 
what you saw was correct what you heard about this person is correct let's clarify this yes answer in the present yeah nine of swords in the reverse so some of you you came out of stagnation you came out of not being able to cope with this being over you came out of that dark place the dark night of the soul where this person really really hurt you and put you on your ass you came out of that it was done it's over you dealt with it you said to yourself you know it happened and you started to heal you started to come out of that nine of swords you started to come out of overthinking about what happened and what didn't happen and what they did and how they did it and then when they did this and did that and how that made you it stopped you stopped playing the victim or being overly dramatic about this relationship because confirmation came and you get that big fat yes you know like okay it is what it is um let's clarify this yes one more time let's see yeah, you got this, um, yes, that this was a knight of wands. You know, this person was in and out, hot and cold, a charmer, charismatic, attractive, would say anything, would stick around as long as they can get what they want. And once they get it, they're gone. You got that, um, you got confirmation there and you just, you left, you're out. It is what it is, you know, and this person probably was out too. And as, as they left, your feelings start to change your energy started to change towards them um you started to come out of the dark night of the soul you started to come out of the victimization uh the woe is me um her pathetic and pity okay i don't know who was there but i'm glad you're out of it okay um big happy changes what are these big happy changes happening for the Aquarius in the near future. Beautiful card. Big happy changes. What are the big happy changes happening for the Aquarius in the near future? Okay, two cards want to come out. Okay, so we got the Empress in reverse, the Magician in reverse. So um, it's like you want to start something. I don't know if you're going to start something with the wrong person, or you might, some of you still might be manifesting this old energy back you're trying to manifest a, a renewal a restart a reboot this one to pop out yep six of swords in reverse so some of you are still stuck there you still want this person it's okay you don't have to you know uh you know explain yourself to me i, I you know it is what it is right um some of you may be trying to manifest this you know still trying to manifest this relationship you just aren't Hi guys, I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month. Um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99, uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. Over it. Or some of you with the big happy changes, we could be reading this in a different way. Some of you are going to be in some unconventional relationship that just isn't adding anything to your life. Two of Cups in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse. I really feel like these cards should be upright. Yeah, okay. So you're getting justice. Okay. Um, the big, ha oh, okay. Thank you, spirit. Okay. So the big happy changes is that now you're walking away from the empress continuously trying the empress in reverse, continuously trying to build and start and create something with somebody who just doesn't want it. Create something with someone who is an outright liar. will say anything. The magician upright is the salesman or the salesperson where they're trying to stick it. They, they have a way with words right so imagine that energy in the reverse this is somebody who they will try to sell ice to an eskimo and be dead ass serious about it this is somebody who will lie cry narcissistic um this is somebody who's manifesting backwards this is somebody who's using all of their power in the most negative form this is somebody who uses 
you know, information against you. This is someone who um, gaslit you. They were they would say things. Um, they throw stones and hide their hand and act as if this is somebody who there was never uh, a peaceful time or moving forward with them. It was always stuck. It was always stagnant with the six of swords in reverse. You're moving away from the big happy changes will be that you're moving away from this, you know, this unconventional uh, relationship, this relationship with no law, no order. It's just all over the place. Um, this person, no structure, uh, may have even been third party, may have even wanted you to engage in sexual activity that you didn't want to, or you didn't like, or you just weren't comfortable, comfortable in this person could have, um, uh, This person was very dominating. Like they were very domineering. Like just, just for them in a love relationship, it was like win, lose, draw. And it was like, they wanted to win. They weren't looking at love. like, oh, I love you. So I want this to work. And if it doesn't work, then we both lose. They were looking like, no, I'm gonna be a winner. You're gonna be a loser. What's up? You know, or I'm gonna make you concede. I'm gonna make you, you know, you draw you're gonna throw your hand in and do what i say this is a person who there was no mutual beneficial two of cups in reverse so you're moving away from all of this negative energy it was like you were you were willing it was like look your person was all of this in reverse right just horrible right <laughs> and then uh, these are really good cards if you turn them up right they were all of this in reverse and you were all of this in the upright so you were in the upside down with this person okay some of you out there gonna get that joke anyway um this person was just didn't have anything to offer it seems it seems like they were selling you like a bill of goods it was bad goods it was like nothing nothing was really going to manifest there nothing and look now you're going to have big happy changes because you're moving away from that energy right um we've got you healing the hermit card looking at this past experience and gaining wisdom letting it come to an end letting it come to culmination a transition of your personality understanding you know that what you put out you will reap you'll get that back understanding karma because then you have the justice coming out in the upright also you getting what is due to you your person's getting what is due to them also they could be experiencing negative karma you coming out of the devil in reverse that's what i'm talking about um you coming out of negativity stuck you know being just um obsessed with obsessed with building with a person who is the devil you coming out of this you're not making you're not making extravagant choices with this person to build with them and knowing that they're giving nothing back. You're no longer stuck. You're no longer bound. You no longer care about the sex. You know, it is what it is. Uh, you can find good sex pretty much anywhere. You can pay for it nowadays, man or woman. And so, you know, it just is what it is. Let's see. Um, what? is uh who is this who is this person who are they really dealing with who is aquarius really dealing? let me see so they could have been a twin flame they didn't choose the journey don't get stuck on that like oh my god it's my twin flame they didn't they're not choosing you not by the way of these cards they didn't or they just didn't show up in the highest vibration yeah this is somebody who was just there for fun times you see them wands up or those one fingers up one night only one weekend only this is somebody who you know always kept you waiting for their communication always kept you waiting like four of pentacles type of energy always uh, wanted to be the boss in the relationship always wanted to call the shots was possessive domineering um just you know overly controlling somebody who kept you in a triangle they had other people that they were dating they didn't care about your feelings. They didn't care, you know, that um, you wanted a one-on-one -on -one relationship. This could have been a true love, or that's how you felt about them. They they were a true love. Again, they did not care who was Aquarius dealing with. 
who was a okay two cards just popped out of here um you were dealing with somebody who did not put in energy in the relationship when it came time to show up for you this is how they they would sit and cross their hands and their feet and just look at you do all of the work this is somebody who you were destined to meet this showed you something about yourself Aquarius if you stayed in something like this then what that should have shown you is that look um maybe I need to make better decisions when people show me who they really are I need to accept it at face value if things aren't mutually beneficial I need to learn how to walk away I don't need to be involved in anything that I can't walk away in less than 30 seconds um you you, you know you have to ask yourself questions that's when you know that you're trying to mature and grow when you say okay what did I learn from this yeah they were sucky yeah they were low vibrational yeah they were toxic but I stayed so what does that say about me so start asking those questions and start writing it down so you can really permit uh, permeate in your system so it can really start to work on that about you because that is the self-sabotaging part of you you want to get rid of that okay um what else what does this person want to say to the Aquarius um I, I feel like they knew you were like high vibing they knew they couldn't match your energy so it was like well shit I'm just gonna play with them yep um they pray for somebody like you and they just fumbled the the bag they fumbled the ball um they just weren't ready for you okay they didn't know that their prayer was gonna be answered this person could be saying please give me another try i need more money whoa so this person could be coming back around please give me another try because they need more money especially if you you know supported them financial Lee, if you were, you know, will open up your purse or your wallet to them. They want to say that they are a liar, liar. Yes, they are. You know, they can admit it. Uh, they know they lied several times. All right, let's see. What does this person want to say to Aquarius? Please work with me. This is what I'm saying. They know that they ain't shit. And they know that, you know, you may have come off in the relationship is better, is wanting the connection wanting to show up for it and it was like you know hey please work with me sexy wife they can be your little sexy wife sexy you know, i heard sex kitten okay anyway um or they may be saying that they see you as a sexy wife you know um they feel like you're sexy they could be saying they're addicted to you now especially if you walked away the cat and mouse the runner the chaser um, i'm tired of being a husband or wife so you were dealing with somebody who got bored with commitment bored with showing up for you bored with being reliable okay uh, i want to be single this is what they want to say to you they are outright gold digger <laughs> they deal with a gold digger or they're dealing with a gold digger yeah um, I would say I love you, but I don't know what that is. We all know that this person doesn't know what love is. So, yeah, they would say they love you, but they don't know what it is. Let's see. Um, I have things I haven't told you. No shit, Sherlock. Um, yeah, they're definitely holding things back. It could be good things. Maybe they want to tell you how great you are. Whatever that means for you. I don't know if that will keep you stuck or staying there. But, I mean, you can always just say thank you and move on. Um let's see what else this person want to tell you i am dating other people i knew it was coming out they're definitely dating other people we saw triangle come out um manipulative behavior that's all they're about Could be, uh, okay and what else being with you is awesome very nice so that's what there you are that's what they want to tell you being with you is awesome um shake their hand and say thank you and move on all right let's see what's the future energy for aquarius okay the big happy changes energy it looks like you get what is due to you get some repayment of debt this person could even want to come back and right their wrongs even if they just come back and apologize if you don't want to allow them back in your life as boyfriend girlfriend or whatever you don't have to but they it, what's going to eat at them is how they did you all right 
they may see you on a public platform they definitely might want to apologize to you they could be getting prompted to do so now they might not be listening to a higher spirit guide or god um they're trying to ignore it let's see what is the future energy for aquarius main male so you may have somebody new showing up let's see who this is um distant horizons yeah okay so you could um be calling in someone new right um what else all your hopes your dreams some of you are really transforming um spiritually you're learning about yourself you're letting this in um it's like the distant horizons it's like the hermit card it is a nine the three and the six reduces to a nine so it's like the hermit card is um just you going within and then coming back out renewed um learning about yourself um okay in the near future you're going to have a new start or someone may give you something small um or it could be words or it could be yeah it could be a gift it could be words it, it definitely could definitely be words um they want a fresh new start with you with the child it's going to be something small okay let's see what else in the near future lovers okay see i feel like you might meet somebody younger than you um you might meet someone new let's see what else yeah good news good message or a message someone may just say uh, someone may apologize this person they might come back to kind of give you a half-ass apology right give you a half-ass apology but uh i think you might have somebody new here yeah this is on the floor the three of pentacles yeah somebody oh and the four of swords so this person may come back and try to work with you or we saw that or ask can you work with them because they'll be in an energy of despair especially if they see you expanding in life for the best revenge is living well it's not going to go get some hoodoo voodoo spell and you know trying to make sure people get their karma no just live well and, and do it publicly people will see it and and that's the best revenge and you might have somebody in this energy desperate in despair they want to come back you know it's eating at them what's eating gilbert great what's eating this asshole you and you shining you may even have a wealthy man come in or you might be the wealthy man very nice you may have business that goes well for you um let's see transaction is transactions is what i was hearing imprisonment yeah this person is going to be stuck this person could be going to prison or in prison so fast change happens in your life aquarius wow especially with within some courtship you may move in with someone okay um let's see what else is happening in the near future adjudication somebody wants you to hear them out okay uh you can you cannot i don't know privileged lady some of you so we got okay so we've got the wealthy man sorry and the privileged lady these are counterparts in this deck they go they are <laughs> yeah they go together 12 and 13 um they are married in this deck okay and then we have courtship there so you may meet someone that you may marry and things could happen really quick for you this change card means fast movement it could literally mean you know moving fast um like a, a physical move as you see like they're throwing like uh luggage and all kinds of things in the car and so you guys could move in together um you have this talk you'd be working with someone to be to share your life with them and you could have this energy in the background who's going to be stuck on you this is what they two and nine makes 11 this is what they manifested they're going to get instant karma for treating you bad so the best revenge is living well aquarius it looks like you've got big happy changes on the horizon for you um and this person is going to be in prison about how they missed out on you let's see what else um let's see okay one last card for what is happening in the near future 
Okay, for the Aquarius. Wow, it slipped out. Marriage. And we have counterparts here. We have the privileged lady and the wealthy man. So some of you could definitely be embarking on getting married. You know, you will. Um, yeah, some of you could be getting married. I didn't have that light on. Dang. Uh, anyway, we're at the end. Let's get you some advice cards and get out of here. Um, Aquarius, you just were dealing with a shithead. Like, they just, you know, it just wasn't. It just wasn't meant to be. This person came into your life to show you something. I think you're going to be with someone else for a, a large portion of you. Maybe there will be reconciliation for some of you. The large portion of you will be someone new. Take a shot, Aquarius. Take 12. Take one. Okay, just move on. So take a shot. I don't know if you drink. Take a shot. You know, uh, let's see. Ease your mind. Let your guard down. Get outside. Move your ass. Your body is pissed at you. So yeah, some of you need to get in the vibration of moving around, of exercising. You are the best thing to ever happen to you. Go easy on you. Buy your own damn drink. Okay, I don't understand that one. Um, sometimes I just don't resonate with this dick. I really don't. But I said, you know, I'm going to use it today. Who out there has this dick? Do you resonate with, with it often? I just don't. You look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Clean yourself up. Okay. All right. Well, you know, they're getting real tough with you, Aquarius. Some of you clean yourself up. We do have wallflower here. Clean up. You know, get out there. Rebel. Okay. So some of you really need to break out of this whole stuck energy. Yeah. You need to just say F it. You know, especially if it's about this person. Let's see. What else? Step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and uh, spirulia. Spirul anyway, tastes like ass. Eat some yummy stuff, bacon, chocolate, beer, get some. Yeah, okay. We can tell I don't eat that. Okay. Let's see what else do we have here for Aquarius. Okay, so some of y'all need to get some sleep. You're not sleeping. You know, yeah, you need to get some sleep. Some of you have a big idea, a big project, and it's just waiting for you. You need to get busy. You need to present that to the world. Transmute the energy. Yeah, so some of you need to eat some vegetables. You need to eat some yeah, diet coming up twice. Some of you really need to eat differently okay uh i think that is all i mean unless you just want confirmation that you were dealing with an idiot it's 27 minutes in hang on one second okay um Let's see. Spirit, do you want to confirm some things to the Aquarius about this past, present, and future energy? What are we? Mixed race. So some of you could be mixed race. Some of you were dealing with somebody who was of two minds about you. They wanted you sometimes. Sometimes they didn't. They just confused the shit out of you. Um, they were unfair. Unfair treatment. And um, you know, they might want to come back and make it right. They were hard to handle, hard to get a handle on. Uh, this failed, or it will fail, or this was a failure. Um, what else do you want to say to body goals? Something about you need to get out there, work out, exercise. You were dealing with a con man, a fraud, a liar. Everything they said was cap. It was just a lie. What else do we want to tell or confirm to the Aquarius 
Yeah, this person treated you unkind, but because um, they knew that you were smarter than them or you were smart. Uh, if I can't match your intellectual capacity or ability, then, you know, I'll just treat you like an asshole. Safety. I don't know if they put your safety in jeopardy or they felt like with you it was safe illegal business so yeah some of you were dealing with somebody who makes you know money illegally they put your safety in jeopardy they may have even been praying on your downfall this person was trying to harm you not making any moves that's what they were doing they were dating dating other people you came off as an earth angel you are an earth angel uh, to this person but they still didn't care they're gonna be stuck on you that is their karma you know um they're like having drunk sex with people or they are having drunk sex or they want to have drunk sex with you sexting and then ghosting you this person that's an energy of playing games you know to send somebody a picture and then ghost them they could even sex you when they're drunk and then they get sober and they're just like ghost. They're trying to seduce you because they feel like they're handsome. This person could have been seduced away by someone else who was sexting them. Someone who's willing to do whatever they wanted to do. They would accept them in any capacity. They left you out so many times. You can count the times. Well, I don't even know if you can count the times. How many that times they just weren't there for you they didn't show up for you you showed up as warm to them for some of you you have somebody wanted to come back and surprise you with new everything new home new life new car new baby because they feel like you're soft they want to make good on their promises some of you dealing with somebody who was you know doing like adverse magic they wanted everything for you to be adverse to turn around they wanted something about your security and your safety you dealing with somebody here was doing like yeah some negative juju on you they were doing it for a long time hmm let's see what else what else do we want to confirm to aquarius this person gets bored easily they wanted you in the side chick forever roll roll um They would do all this loud talking, saying nothing, just to keep you in the dark or keep you confused. They like to talk in riddles. They could be African American or something about dark or darker skin. Um, yes, everything you're thinking about them is to the truth. You got a, a second yes now. They were putting others before their relationship because they know they didn't have anything to give you to compromise with, no compromise. Um, there's no growth here you were this person's sunshine they feel like your body is perfect march could have been significant in terms of maybe that that's when their birthday is or march was the turnaround in this relationship you felt like i'm i can't and i just don't take you serious yes i do love you or this person could say yes i do love you but they will ghost you especially over the phone i can't talk or they would just go ghost after a certain time this could be a gay or lesbian bisexual relationship this person has not healed and they could very well not be interested in healing they're bothered by your sexiness and your sex appeal they could even want to be you there could be an underlining energy of jealousy they don't they don't they feel like you don't understand how much power you yield or you have or you don't use it correctly you don't use it in the capacity that they would use it in they would use it for negativity if they were you if they looked like you if their body was like yours if they had what you had if they had if they had the knowledge you had they'd be on top yep they have a big legacy this person used to like put you you know in a box text me don't call me yeah let's see 
Yeah, hurt people hurt people. That's why they were so quick to be in and out of your life. You're seeing right through them. They see that, you know, you can put things together real fast or you have really good ideas. They love that about you, but they hid it from you. Yeah. Now they want a relationship with you big time. And they also could see money coming in for you. They wanted to keep you in friends with benefits. They felt like that would be a good place for them because they didn't have to show up for you. Again, domination coming up because you were kind and they were unkind. Remember, we had unkind come out. You retired this relationship. Done. Because you found out that it was all true. It's true. about All about this business that they were doing or they had or you found out about their business with somebody else or, you know, what they were keeping from you. They always was like, well, maybe. You like, well, can we go to the movies? Maybe. Do you want to hang out this weekend? Maybe. Can I come over? Maybe. I'll let you know. They just weren't there for you. And they did this because this was like an underlying energy of jealousy also. You were dealing with somebody who they saw your spark. They saw your shine before you did, Aquarius. And <clears throat> you're dealing with somebody who understands power, how to yield it, how to keep it, how to use it. And they saw that, damn, this person is a, a really good person. They're not like me. <clears throat> I can't match them in that, in that regard. Therefore, I'm going to use them. Therefore, I'm going to abuse them. I'm going to abuse either physically or I'm going to abuse them emotionally. I'm going to play with them. It's like, oh, oh I just got the... um. The vision of like a, a cat and mouse, cat playing with the mouse, just playing. Like this person just was playing with you, toying with you. Because they didn't have anything else to give you. If they had that, they would have given it to you. They didn't have anything to give you. They didn't have goodness to give you. They didn't have, you know, a high vibration. Therefore, it was like, damn, I got something real valuable, but I don't know what to do with it. Um, let me play with it. I got something real smart. Some, most times the mouse outsmarts the cat. And it was like, you know, I'll just, I'll just play w with this. Like the cat would do, you know, even though the mouse most times out, so this person saw that you were smart. Um, <clears throat> but they kept the game up. I think you just allowed yourself to also play in the, in the game too. Maybe it took away from reality, you know, the reality that you were living. Maybe this was a, a a good outlet and then you fell in love or you fell in strong like or whatever the hell. Um, and then it became karmic. The karma that we create for ourselves when we just do things unintentionally. I'm just going to show up for the relationship. I don't know where it's going. Yep. It's going right into the pit. Um, so I think the both of you kind of did that and, um, it just didn't turn out well, but it's okay though, because you got big, happy changes. Allow for the change to happen. Yes, it hurts now. Yes. You still want this person for some of you, some of you are just done. Um, but you need to do the healing and you need to forgive. Okay. You, you can't manifest new love. And that's the first thing, first question you guys ask when there's new love coming can't manifest you know new love with a heavy heart let your heart be light as a feather then you can manifest faster quicker easier but if you still have that heart of stone you still holding all of that resentment and frustration and anger that is valid it's valid you, you should feel that way but what are you going to do with that feeling how are you going to heal that so that you can get to the place you say you want to get to new love so you can't put the cart before the horse. Some of you will try. Good luck. You'll be here listening to Tarot for years. Do the work, heal, and then get all of the things that you deserve, all, all of your heart's desires, because your heart will be 
you know, healed, open. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. What part resonated for you? Um, get your own personal reading. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.